They don't know this, but what you guys have is incredibly special. You know, you're building something unique, fun, exciting, and there's a lot of potential revenue in your future over these next 12 months. I mean, there's a lot. What do you think's been the secret to your success? Because you guys have been in the business how long again? So I've been there since 2009 as an insurance agent, but as an agency owner since 2014. Okay, so last six, seven years on that side of it. What do you think's been the secret sauce to the growth you've had and the success you've had that others can learn from? All right, I got some incredible special guests today. Anthony and Rakita Starks from Dallas, Texas. The power couple with tons of energy <laughs> just like that. Are you guys, is the personality, are you guys always like this or are you just putting on a show for me today? No, no. this that is. Yeah. I, love, I love how much guys, you guys have fun, yes. right? And when you're building a team and a culture and what you guys are doing, like what attracted me to you guys and I was wanting you to be here today and I spend some time together was like the online persona of how much fun you guys have in your office with your people. Like more people need to be having fun like you guys do. Where's that come from? Just our natural yeah. who we, we naturally are. are. Yeah. Even our children are getting the trickle down effect of that. They're loud, they're adventurous and and enthusiastic, all that kind yeah. of stuff. So that's, awesome. that's just who we've been. Yeah. And now that we run a company, we can just extend that in our company. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. What? How, how, how have you seen that help your company? Just the owners having enthusiasm and passion and, and actual care and, and it really shows that you enjoy the life and health insurance that you're selling. How's that transferred into some of your team members and employees? I would say it's really transferred in the form of them having fun at work. They look forward yeah. to coming to work. Uh, awesome. It's not a dreadful situation. Sometimes people can have jobs that they hate or they're just doing it for a paycheck, but yeah. we really feel the passion with our people. That's huge. That's huge. Uh, who's the better salesperson? <laughs> okay. Mr. Salesman. <laughs> so, so tell me what Rakita's better at then. Everything else? See, I'm the head. She's the heart. Oh, so I like that. I'm sales. She's the service. Because see, me, I can get straight to business sometimes. She's like... Back up a little bit, butter it up. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So I get the business, she keeps the business. Every company needs a Rikita. Yeah. Right? That's a lot like Lauren because we would scare everybody away. Right. Yeah. You know? Um y'all are kind of cray cray. We are a little crazy. <laughs> we are a little crazy. Um, but it's needed. That's right. And you're actually in the middle of writing a book about this, by the way. Yes. Okay. Which yes. I, thought, I don't know if it's okay to publish, but I but I loved, I guess I'm, I'm also putting pressure on you now to write it too, right? Mm -hmm. Or making yeah. it public. Right. Because I was impressed by that. Because you guys are a dynamic couple, you have fun, you're great at working together in a business setting. Um, not every couple is as excited or as good at that mm -hmm. and running a business together. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys are doing a really good job of that, Thank by the way. You. At least it seems like to me you guys are doing a really, really, really good job of that. It's been a process. It has been. It has yeah. been. Uh, I think it just started with understanding who he was, like instead mm. of trying to change who he was or get him to um, adapt to my, my, like he said, I'm the heart. So don't always try to see it emotionally, but see it as, okay, how does this make sense in the business? Okay, he has to be at the business this much because the business is like a baby. It takes nurturing. So I had to come to a, a point of understanding why he's doing it and how he's doing it and really adjusting myself. I think yeah. we also always get so caught up in adjusting the other person that we don't adjust ourselves. So good, so true. And for those that don't know Anthony Rakita, they're, they're operating an agency out of Dallas, um, earning hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, doing very well on the life and health side of the business. Mm -hmm. um, what, did, what, what, what business were you guys in before insurance? So well, well, no, myself, ahead. I was in sales. I was a pawnbroker, so I was a store manager at a pawn shop. Okay. So I was doing that. Um, I've had many different jobs. <laughs> um, lifeguard, done that. Um, I've lifeguard? Had, yeah. L like Baywatch with you, yeah. Anthony, <laughs> running down the beach. Yeah, lifeguarding. Uh, I had my own lawn service. I had wow. my own mobile detail service. It all started from selling snacks in school from a youngster selling oh. snacks. So the first time I first started selling candy, it was to one of my neighbors across the street. It, the old wow. penny candy, I would go get it, 25 cents worth, and sell it to them three for a quarter. <laughs> what, yeah, three pieces of candy for 25 cents. It's an entrepreneur your whole life. Yeah. 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 
And how about your year here? Um, but I was a property manager uh, in the apartments. And then when we started the business, I was a stay-at-home mom. So I stayed at home for the first four years of our children's lives. And then they went to school. And then that's when I came in full-time nice. in insurance. So I haven't been licensed as long as him. Yeah. You, you yeah. both seem to really enjoy it, though. Yeah. yeah. Why insurance? Well, just from my story, uh, coming yeah. into the business, uh, as I've shared before, for anybody who doesn't know my story, when my granddad died in 2009, he didn't have life insurance. Mm -hmm. So when you understand the detriment that that causes financially in the family to come up with all of this money, well, now he's passed away. We come up with the money to bury him. My dad ends up passing six to nine months later. So now you have two family members who've passed away in a 12 month calendar period, no life insurance. So that's what brings us into the business, well, me into the business in 2009. Wow, wow, man. Uh did either of you ever think you'd be selling life insurance and health insurance today? No. Not me. <laughs> I went to Definitely school to be a me. police officer. I thought I was going to be a detective. Yeah. Okay. I was going to be a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> so. Wow. Well, now you're protecting uh, yeah. clients and prospects, mm -hmm. right? And teaching prospects and clients and, and agents and the team, mm -hmm. you know, what, what financial freedom right. really exactly. is, right? Because their agency is Financial Freedom Insurance out of Dallas. I love the name, by the way. Thank you. That's what everybody's trying to do, man. Everybody's trying to generate financial freedom. Yeah. How how easy was it to, to choose the name? They just click? It was something that was definitely needed. It was something floating around all the time. You see a lot of these beyond balls, financial freedom and all that kind of stuff. So it yeah. stuck with what I'm what I was after and then what we wanted for other people. So we're always a type of couple and people individually as well. We don't only want things for ourselves. We understand as God blesses us, it's to be a blessing to somebody else. That's right. I love that. Rikita, it, or, or, or you, I'm guessing, like, Lauren's goal is to, like, enrich our team members' lives, and she has a massive heart for everybody that works with us. Um, are you probably more of the same way? Yes, <laughs> very much <laughs> yeah. so. Um, I like to see people be better than they were yesterday. So it's like, awesome. I'm always gonna find, I'm thinking of ways that improves the individual versus the team so much, you know? Like, yes, the team matters, but we have to also look at the details yes. of each person. So yes, I love pouring into people. That's awesome. And in, in the agency, what's each of your roles, you think? So I'm more operations, sales, training, and- mm -hmm. And I'm more of, uh, Customer support, yeah. customer, customer support experience. And development and agent development. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. And you're selling life and health. You're earning a good amount of income. You have um, a, a, several agents uh, locally, mm -hmm. um, some VAs helping you. Yes. Um, what do you think has been the secret to your success? Because you guys have been in the business how long again? So I've been in since 2009 as okay. an insurance agent, but as an agency owner since 2014. Okay, so last six, seven years yes. on that side of it. What do you think has been the secret sauce to the growth you've had and the success you've had that others can learn from? I would say I'm being committed. I was um, going to say the same. Okay, we're going to say great minds think alike. Yeah. I was going to say dedication. Yeah. Dedication, commitment, mm -hmm. uh, just being committed to the craft. Uh, that was time when we first started out, and you get the overhead of being an owner, I mean, you have to make a lot of sacrifices. So we've sold personal possessions, yeah. cars, things out of our home to make sure that ends met. And at the same time, to invest into our company as well, because we bootstrapped. We didn't get loans and all that to start, so we yeah. bootstrapped it. And where did you start? At the kitchen table? Oh, I started it. Okay, so this <laughs> she's going to tell us. So I started at the kitchen table, and she's nursing our oldest son, little Anthony. And man, the whole house had to be quiet. I'm on a call. Baby's crying in the back. And it was just crazy. So she kicks me out of the kitchen, sends me upstairs, <laughs> and I start in the upstairs room. And it was just we have four bedroom house, and you want to choose the center room for yeah, <laughs> to in the work kitchen. In. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I had to send him upstairs. <laughs> yeah. So one day she just came out, real calm, real sweet as she can be. I'm in the middle of working. She's just slowly packing my stuff in a box. And I'm like, what are you doing? And next thing I see her going upstairs and all of my stuff went with her. <laughs> so she was like, this is your new workspace. Welcome to your office. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Was there a moment where you guys thought about quitting? Ever? I would say for me, no. 
because I knew that I had to own something. Yeah. So I knew it was going to be a company. I just didn't know what company. So when we got into the business, I would just start, let me go back to 2009 because I, I can kind of better explain it. In 2009, I started 10, 11. I go back to the corporate world when, as been our commission, can be tough. Yes. I go to the corporate world for about two years, but then making really good money, great benefits and all that. I knew that that wasn't for me. I needed to be in the owner role so that not just for to be in charge and all that, but because I needed to be able to create other opportunities for people. So as we get back in it, we're hitting it hard, we're sacrificing, we're doing all we can do to make it work. That was just where my mind was. It was the why I was in it. Not, not only just to create opportunities, but just thinking about my dad and granddad that, hey, I need to be educating other people so they, they don't go through what I went through. And also to make sure that they leave inheritance to their generations. Mm -hmm. Was there moments along the way where you're like, this dude's freaking nuts? Yeah, <laughs> for <Still>? sure. <laughs> Not so much now. Because <laughs> he's rubbed off on me. But yes, I did think that he was kind of crazy. But And there were moments that I wanted to give up because, you know, being married to an entrepreneur, an ambitious man, it's, it takes a lot. It takes a strong woman to yes, be married to a, a ambitious man. So, um there were moments that I wanted to give up, but then I knew I'd be giving up on him, our family, mm. and myself. Yeah, and now team members too, right? Yeah. 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 You guys seem, do seem incredibly dedicated, committed. Uh, like there's nothing that's going to get in your way. Being a business owner is not easy, right? right. It's not always everything that's cracked up to be there. Everybody talks about right. it. You, you don't, you know. Um, what are some of the key business lessons that you've learned along the way that have really made a big difference and a big shift over these last six or seven years? For me, I would say documenting. Okay. Documenting systems and processes. Good. Not taking the money right now, because I know as you're in a survival mode of a business and the infancy stage, it can be tough. But when you really say, you know what, not that sale, let me work on the business right yeah. now so that I can develop system of process to streamline the company and then it'll be a lot easier to live. So you leverage the business through system of processes versus trying to do it all on your own. So good. Everybody always wants to uh, take as much money out of the business as humanly possible early on. Mm -hmm. It's like, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. You know, you're draining the life of the company. Right. And I respect that you guys, it really sounds like we're in it for the long game. You weren't in it for short term financial gain, but you knew that if you sacrifice a little bit for a few years, there would be some serious, sick, yeah. long-term financial gain, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Yeah, which is huge. Um, how's today been? You've been in the office for uh, about half a day? Yes, it's been great. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to get back. Yeah, I'm ready to, go. I'm ready to get back. I'm ready to implement. I love yeah. it. Well, yeah. what, what's been some, um, how, what, what, what did you think of our morning meeting this morning, by the way? Oh, that was awesome. I liked how short and sweet to the point and to the point it was yeah. um, and giving the agents opportunity also to ask um, questions to grow. So I, I really like that part. Okay. It doesn't have to be a long drawn out meeting to get right. going. Yeah, I think I like more of the honestly, the energy, the yeah. getting up, having to exercise and get moving. Body rest stays at rest, but That's body right. motion stays in motion. So I saw that motion. Did they do some energy it. over there? Yeah, yes, they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we love energy. Yeah. Don't when we do events and stuff, we loudest people in the room. So. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. That was you when I heard it. Twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably it was. Then, yeah, right? probably. Yeah. Um, what's been some big takeaways? You spent some time with us. We spent a lot of one on one time together. Um, what's been some big takeaways that uh, you're going to take back immediately tomorrow and start to implement and grow? I would say focusing on the the numbers yeah. because there was some time you asked us certain questions, we had to go fidget for them or we didn't know them right off or we had to go for my gut. But understanding the stories that the number is telling you and when you broke those numbers down and we could see it, it brought a lot of clarity. Even though we might have known some of the things, kind of talked about it, for but sure. once we saw it on the board, and then you just have a way to make a person think bigger. You talk about helicopters and jets and all this kind of stuff. And now we're going to get us a jet. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now we got to get us a jet. So boom. Come on, Why not? Why yeah. not? Right? Yeah. So you have a way of doing that. So when you just made it plain, just, hey, if you can do this, are you able to do this? Is this possible? And all of those were yes. So there's no reason not to yeah. do it. 
Cool. And it was your answers, right? Yeah. It was just, I was just asking questions and right. kind of trying to steer some conversation and really dive into the numbers deeper. Mm -hmm. Because what you guys have, they don't know this, but what you guys have is incredibly special. Yeah. You know, you're building something unique, fun, yeah. exciting, and there's a lot of potential revenue in your future over these next 12 months. I mean, there's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, so thank you for uh, being here, okay. spending time together, being committed to the industry, sitting front row at 8% 2021 yeah. coming up <laughs> in like 66 days. Yeah. Right. Um, if you had to describe, each of you had to describe today so far in one word, and you can only pick one word to describe word. the day you've had, mm. what word would that be? Who wants to jump out and go first? One word. For me, I would just have to say clarity. Good. Yeah, you mentioned a lot. That's a great word, yeah. too. That's a great word. A lot of people need, need, need some clarity. Oh, man, this is tough. <laughs> they always say, this like, it's hard to see the picture inside the frame. So yeah. mm -hmm. that's why I, I hire resources that are outside the frame, too, all the time. Because I, I'm like, okay, well, what do they see? Mm -hmm. I know what I see, but what do they see? Right. You know? I would say we have a starting point. We've, we've been in the middle, but it's a starting point to the next level. So uh, I see where we need to hire. Um, mm -hmm. I guess that still goes back to clarity, but we, we see where we need to go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of like walking in a dark room and you yeah. bump your knee on furniture and you don't know where you're going and you turn on the lights. So I think, well, I ain't gonna say I think I lights. know the lights. You turn on the lights today with just oh. hiring compensation, yeah. uh, all of that. So wow. the lights went on. Huge, man. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys are amazing. Thank you for being here. I've been loving getting to know you, and I'm looking forward to a long-term relationship of continuing to know you, know you, get to know you, and watch you scale and grow this thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're going to have a monster one day, okay? <laughs> all right? For yeah. sure. I love it. Okay, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. you. All right, hey, you're a power couple like the Starks? Let's get you in the hot seat. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Who likes money, okay? Come on now, come on now, come on now. All right, all right. Okay, two more, two more. Sorry.